If you have been a part of this community for a while now, you know that I love to shoot my lookbooks outside to incorporate some of the atmosphere and uh, the city that I'm in at the time. But this year is not really possible because of everything that's going on and I do have to wear masks as part of the regulations here in Hong Kong. But we try to incorporate as many fall flowers as possible to sort of bring the fall foliage into the studio. Uh, these are for you. But actually, Hong Kong doesn't really have a fall season. It is still crazy hot here, and there's definitely no leaves of different colors going on outside. In fact, I'm realizing now how much I took Canada for granted. You actually have to buy fall leaves here as a bouquet if you want to get them. And these aren't even real fall leaves. They're, they're painted red. So this year I have created this fake fall little world inside with air conditioning uh, and a lot of plant friends that double as an audience. 2020 is the year of plants and pets being your best friend, so actually it works out quite well. Congratulations to you by the way, you've made it over halfway through 2020. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder and enjoy some fall fashion. Let's get into the trends. Yes, you don't need to follow these trends or go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Some of these items you may already have in your closet because a lot of these items are classic pieces with just new ways to wear them. You and your closet, meaning the clothes that you feel most comfortable in, are perfect. But if you do want to see some new ways to incorporate items or to add in a few new items to help you feel fresh and excited about life, I know that's what I look forward to every season. Can I get a... Then these are ways that you can do so. And I feel like most of these trends, all of the, all of the things I'm gonna show you today are very wearable, nothing is too extreme. And I enjoy mixing and matching a lot of them. So for example, you'll see frills with some bold leather or plaid with leather, that sort of thing. First up, we have shades of white. So bright white, off white, ivories, creams, um, not only different shades, but different textures. Monochrome outfits look great on everyone, but there's something even more attractive about an all white outfit. It looks crisp, it looks fresh, it looks pure, and it's something that has really stood the test of time. When you go back to previous collections, you can always see outfits of all white. And I especially love that during the fall season, you can combine different shades and textures because of layering. Sweater vests have made a big comeback this year. Here is one of those that I layered over a blouse, some white jeans, and some beige boots. Next, we're going a little shorter with a mini skirt, a knitted sweater, a cardigan that has a hood, pockets, it's baggy, it's cozy, it literally checks all of the boxes. And I paired that with sneaker boots. I don't really know what these are. I feel like they fit into both of those categories. But now looking back, I think I actually prefer higher boots with this outfit. And then I also added on a fleece bucket hat. Hat for putting on white sweaters that have a tight neck when you have a full face of makeup and you don't have access to like a scarf or something. Just throw your hair in front and it will act as a shield. <laughs> Perfect. Cropped blazers are having a resurgence and as someone with a shorter torso, this is a trend I love to see. This little twist to a classic staple is really refreshing and it looks great with skirts no matter what length. Actually on the runway, we saw a lot of different combinations of longer blazers and longer skirts or shorter blazers with shorter skirts. So you can choose what works best for you and your body shape and what you like. I think there's a combination for everyone. Then of course, one of the many good things about suits is you can take out the blazer or the bottom, whether it's a, a pants or a skirt, and you can mix and match it with other outfits. So here I am doing that with pants in the form of trousers, but this outfit can also look really good with jeans. I'm also wearing a black crop top and my favorite boots of the season, these lace up chunky lug boots for an overall casual but sophisticated look. Our next trend is romance. Tool and frills make my eyes smile and my heart flutter. So I was so happy to see so many 
dreamy outfits incorporating these touches in this season's collections. I really love pairing an ultra feminine dress with more bold, masculine, grungy shoes such as these boots. And then to juxtapose the outfit further, I added on a leather jacket and a hat. There were a lot of dramatic necklines incorporating these frills on the runway, which were really reminiscent of monarchies. But since they were often paired with modern looking bottoms such as jeans or trousers, it works well and is very wearable for today. So for my outfit, I drew a lot of inspiration from Celine. I'm wearing a white knitted sweater with a high frilled collar tied together with a bow, some black lace short, which I added a belt with some gold detail on top, and a faux leather blazer. Moving on to our next trend, preppy, specifically in the form of plaid or checks, which are pretty much in every fall season, I feel like. So it might be worth considering investing in a piece or two, and this could be in the form of a shirt that you throw on as a shirt or on top as like a jacket to go with any outfit or a blazer for the same reason or bottoms in the form of pants or a skirt. For this look as inspired by the Dior collection, I am wearing a brown skirt, a blouse and a leather tie and then I threw on a belt, a checked blazer and a cross body bag. It's really all about the layers here. To finish it off on the bottom, I am wearing my lug boots with some knee high fishnet socks that I uh, pulled down a little bit. These were also inspired by the Dior runway, but I got them at the market here in Hong Kong for a fraction of the price. Here's a plaid look with a bit more color. I swapped out the belt that it came with with this corset looking one, and this look also has the balloon shoulders and the Peter Pan collar, two things that are also everywhere right now. My other accessory is a black bag with a gold chain, which I think ties in the belt nicely. Kids dance. There it goes. Oppa! Okay, well, it's done now. We knew that was coming at one point. <laughs> it's a fitting song. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Get me a mop for this way. I love everything about this dress. The fit, the color, the pattern, the silhouette it gives everything except for the belt. So I decided to swap out the belt that it came with and added on this black one with the gold details once again. This is a great way to make an outfit look more chic and expensive without the higher price tag. And I also added a hat. On the runway, we saw a lot of mixing and matching of plaids with other things like leathers or more grungy pieces. So you want to look for neutral tones like black, white, gray, beige, brown, and that sort of thing so that you can mix and match it both with other textures and fabrics and then other colors. This is a way that you can allow your pieces to be more versatile with other outfits and will last you for years to come. Leather is one of my favorite things about cooler weather. You'll find I mix and match faux leather into a lot of my outfits because I love the different texture and the shine it gives. Recently, I've been experimenting with more than just jackets and trying out shirts like this one, which I paired with a plaid skirt and a belt. And don't be afraid about trying out colored leather as well. These cognac pants look so deep and rich and luck. And all you need is a simple sweater in a neutral color because these babies will just shine and look amazing. And then of course you can add a blazer for another layer of warmth to this outfit. Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, and Mugler all featured lingerie-inspired looks in their collections this year. And this has been a trend for a while now, but it's one that I haven't really worn much but it is starting to warm up on me. I don't mind pairing something like a lacy bodysuit, which is quite fitted and um, a little bit more revealing with a very modest pair of pants, like these wide leg trousers. For me personally, I feel like these items balance each other out. And then if you wanna go for a more modest look, you can add a mock neck under your bodysuit. And then I swapped out my trousers for some jeans and paired some white boots that are the same color as my mock neck to just tie everything together. And then I also added some little delicate details that I think matches the lace really well in the form of chains and diamonds in my belt and my bag. 
Red dresses of all shapes and textures are having a moment right now and if you want to ease into this trend, you could do it by just adding one or two items to your outfit and it could be in the form of accessories or if you want to just dive right in, go for full on maxi dresses like we saw on the runway. This gorgeous dress has beautiful knitted detail and then to cover my shoulders and chest area, I threw on this fuzzy cardigan and swapped out my nude lipstick for a similar deep burgundy red shade. Is it burgundy or is it ruby? I'm gonna say it's ruby because ruby is a great leeway into our next trend which is jewel tones. Jewel tones such as amethyst, ruby, sapphire, jade, deep emeralds were all over the runway and they are a sure way to make an outfit look really luxe. I feel like this color is really flattering on many people. I'm wearing these super comfortable green and maroon pants which I feel are the perfect transition pants as we go from our home wearing sweatpants to our offices where we may not be allowed to wear sweatpants because these look quite sophisticated but they feel like pajamas. I paired them with a maroon knit crop top and a cardigan of the same color and some loafers. I love these shoes because one, I love the deep sort of cognac color that they have and I also love the chain detail which is another one of the trends um, specifically in accessories for this fall season. Finally, I just want to touch on denim trends. I don't have any specific outfits for these, but you can see the jeans I wore throughout this video um, adhere to those trends. Denim wise, we're seeing a lot more relaxed styles now from wide to fitted, but still loose. So wide leg jeans, uh, cigarette, straight, boot cut, and flare are really in. I especially love straight or flare jeans and wear them all the time lately because I love the way you can either make them look really dressed down or dressed up depending on the top you wear with them or the accessories that you add. And since this time we're not bringing back in the low, super low waist with our flared pants, I am very happy. They look super polished but very comfortable at the same time. I love. Alright, those are all my favorite trends for fall 2020. I think they are all really beautiful, very classic, very wearable both now and for years to come. So hope you got some inspiration for some outfit ideas. Let me know which outfits you like best. Let me know which trends you liked best or let me know which trends you want to try this season. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Done. 18 outfits. 18 outfits. How many hours? <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs>